rode very nearly to the pick. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Offense lines up here. Hurry up, here we go. Three, oh. over, over, over. McCoy's back in shotgun formation. Jordy Nelson with a nice catch there. That ball had a lot on it. The Packers had a nice play designed that time. It pulled the defense, and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. The Packers will line up here for the game-tying field goal. Drives it through for the field goal. And that wraps up the first half here at the home of the Cheeseheads. We'll take a quick break at halftime and return shortly for the start of the third quarter. Along with Bill Sims and Danielle Bellini, Jim Nance from Lambeau Field as the second half is about to get underway. It'll be a touchback. The Vikings now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. Rudolph's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Split backfield here. And now here's the first snap of the second half. Airtight coverage, incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Second down following that incompletion. Nickel formation here for the defense. Drop back, shotgun formation. Hakeem Nix hauls it in. Clinton Dix in on the tackle. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Offense lines up here. Hands off. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. That leads us to second down. They bring in the extra tight end. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Incomplete. Looking underneath that time. Third down now. Peterson lines up in the backfield. Makes the reception. Nix is tackled down. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. First down here after the completion. They're loaded up in the full house formation. 
Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. Nix is one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. Coming up, second down. They come out in the dime package. Let's go! Right to the yard. They're setting up screen. Still powering ahead. They get them in the backfield. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. This is third down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Takes it from the gun. Looking to go down the field here, and he's intercepted. The tackle is made. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. They face first down. Hurry up, here we go. Black man in the outfield. Here we go. The handoff to Matt Forte. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. And here we have second down. Set, blue, ninety, blue, ninety. No, 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 no. Catch, Patriot, Patriot. Huh. And Muddle would nearly pick off that throw. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Third and nine after that last incompletion. Adams is going to get set in the slot for this snap. McCoy is going to take the snap from the shotgun. Finds Cobb. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Hard to play man to man against such a quality receiver. You kind of mix up the coverage. You play straight man to man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Keeps it on the play fake. Jordy Nelson with the grab. Gains five. Well, when you talk about throwing these sideline routes or the out route, it is about timing. When that receiver makes that break to go towards the sideline, that football has to be in the air. Nice throw and catch that time. Pass complete, but did not get them the first, so it's second down now. Hey, Offense hey, lines up here. Nine, they better hurry to get the snap. Nine, Matt Forte. And that gains a few. down following the run wide receivers go, stacked now. up on this Blue play Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. 
They need to get the playoff. Gives it to him again. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. And it's third and short. The defensive line, you got to guess. you got to think it's going to be a run play. I don't know what they were thinking. They let the offense just push them back, and they give up the first down. Good job by the offense, though. First down here after the run. It's a two tight end formation. Right back to him one more time. He's brought down at the 25 yard line. Jim, sooner or later, you get these situations, you got to throw the football. As we have seen today, they keep trying to run it, but there's not much there to go. Second down now. Offense lines up here. Play action. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him, that football came loose, incomplete pass. Third down on the way. Nelson's lined up in the slot. Trying to work that left side. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Well, the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone, if you like to think of money. And it's a tie game. A lot of things you could do. They love to throw it in the end zone, but maybe they'll cross them up with a run. We'll find out. That is play number 10 on this drive. What a drive this has been. Now first and ten. Matt Forte gets it here. And at the gain of maybe five. Always manage the football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. Second down coming up. Marching down the field and taking their time. Green 39. Green 39. Looking to the right side and for, as good as it gets. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Throwing that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The point after is good. Now ready to kick the football down the field. And no return as this goes for a touchback. The Vikings are set now for their next possession. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. First down and ten. Adrian Peterson takes the football. Burnett's there to make the tackle. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Second down coming up. Peterson's going to take the handoff now. Clinton Dix there to make the tackle. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game. If you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. 
One last play before the quarter ends. Throwing now to his left. Intercepted. 